This is Lindsay Mann with cloud9stampers.com and I'm sharing with you a paper piecing technique that I learned from Kylie Bertucci and Bruno. And it's a really easy technique, but it's really fun and it's a great way to use up paper scraps. So let me show you how to do it. The first thing that I like to do is bring in the card front and then I like to work the strips around that. And the easiest way to do that is to work with strips of paper and a paper cutter. So I'm just going to bring in my mini paper cutter. I'm going to start with the um, lightest color first. I'm going to bring in the gray and I'm just going to go ahead and on an angle cut that strip. It doesn't need to be any specific size. You can just go ahead and add that. So I'm going to layer things on before I actually adhere anything to the card front. So now I'm going to do the same thing with my Bermuda Bay. Next pool party. And finally, Flirty Flamingo. So now we can go ahead and start layering our pieces of cardstock. So I'm just adding adhesive to the back and I'm going to layer it off the edge of the piece so that I can just trim it when I'm done. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep adding my strips. So now I'm going to bring my little paper cutter back in and I'm just going to line up the edge of the card front with the edge of my paper cutter and trim off all those excess pieces so that we get that nice straight cut. We can turn it around and do the same thing here. So now we have the look of those little strips on there. Now I've brought in the new postage stamp punch and I've punched out a piece of whisper white and a piece of vellum and I'm going to bring in basic gray on this card I used this calls for confetti from the so sentimental stamp set so we'll ink that up and we're going to stamp that onto the postage stamp I like the font on top that's really cute then we're going to go ahead and layer it onto our card front using dimensionals. Oh, no, I lied. We're going to use adhesive. We're going to layer it just kind of a little bit askew on our vellum. That way we'll be able to see where we can put our dimensionals and this is what's going to hold it onto the card. Now we're going to embellish it. So I'm bringing in some of the pool party ribbon and I'm going to use a bow tire. I'm just going to put the ribbon on either sides of the pegs, cross it over. The one that's on the bottom will go through the pegs at the top and the other one goes through the pegs at the bottom. Give it a little tug so that it's tight around the pegs and tie a knot. So now you have that cute little perfectly tied bow. We'll bring in some glue dots. You're going to pick those up and then add it to the bottom. And I'm going to use my ribbon scissors to just cut on an angle the length that I want that ribbon. Next, we're going to bring in some rhinestones and I'm going to add a bunch to the card to just give that little bit of extra bling. Now we're bringing in our card base and we're going to adhere the card front to the card base using dimensionals. If you have any that are overlapping, I'm just picking up. I've got some of the Crystal Cabana sticking out here. You can actually go ahead and use scissors too and then just use your card base as that guide to trim off any that's peeking out. 
So now I'm gonna remove the dimensional backings and stick it to the front. And there you have your finished project. So you can imagine you could use any kind of paper. You can use designer series paper if you like. You could even use all the same color and just allow the background card front to show, shine through. I think it's a really fun technique and a great way to use up your paper supply. So have fun.